The Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit, also known as the Stealth Bomber, is an American heavy strategic bomber, featuring low observable stealth technology designed to penetrate dense anti-aircraft defenses. A subsonic flying wing with a crew of two, the plane was designed by Northrop, later Northrop Grumman, and produced from 1987 to 2000. The bomber can drop conventional and thermonuclear weapons, such as up to 8,500-pound class, 230kg, MK-82 JDAM GPS-guided bombs, or 16,2400-pound, 1,100kg, B-83 nuclear bombs. The B-2 is the only acknowledged in-service aircraft that can carry large air-to-surface standoff weapons in a stealth configuration. Development began under the Advanced Technology Bomber ATB, project during the Carter administration, which cancelled the Mach 2-capable B-1A bomber in part because the ATB showed such promise. But development difficulties delayed progress and drove up costs. Ultimately, the program produced 21 B-2s at an average cost of $2.13 billion, $3.88 billion in 2022, including development, engineering, testing, production, and procurement. Building each aircraft cost an average of 737 million US dollars, while total procurement costs, including production, spare parts, equipment, retrofitting, and software support, averaged 929 million dollars, dollar 1.07 billion in 2022 per plane. The project's considerable capital and operating costs made it controversial in the US Congress even before the winding down of the Cold War dramatically reduced the desire for a stealth aircraft designed to strike deep in Soviet territory. Consequently, in the late 1980s and 1990s lawmakers shrank the planned purchase of 132 bombers to 21. As of 2015, 20 B-2s were in service with the United States Air Force, one having been destroyed in a 2008 crash. The Air Force plans to operate them until 2032, when the Northrop Grumman B-21 Raider is to replace them. The B-2 can perform attack missions at altitudes of up to 50,000 feet 15, meters. it has an unrefueled range of more than 6,000 nautical miles, 6,900 miles, 11,000 kilometers, and can fly more than 10,000 nautical miles, 12,000 miles, 19,000 kilometers, with one midair refueling. It entered service in 1997 as the second aircraft designed with advanced stealth technology, after the Lockheed F-117 Nighthawk attack aircraft. Primarily designed as a nuclear bomber, the B-2 was first used in combat to drop conventional, non-nuclear ordnance in the Kosovo War in 1999. It was later used in Iraq, Afghanistan, and Libya. The B-2 Spirit was developed to take over the USAF's vital penetration missions, allowing it to travel deep into enemy territory to deploy ordnance, which could include nuclear weapons. The B-2 is a flying wing aircraft, meaning that it has no fuselage or tail. It has significant advantages over previous bombers due to its blend of low observable technologies with high aerodynamic efficiency and a large payload. Low observability provides greater freedom of action at high altitudes, thus increasing both range and field of view for onboard sensors. The USAF reports its range as approximately 6,000 nautical miles, 6,900 miles, 11,000 kilometers. At cruising altitude, the B-2 refuels every six hours, taking on up to 50 short tons, 45,000 kilograms, of fuel at a time. The development and construction of the B-2 required pioneering use of computer-aided design and manufacturing technologies due to its complex flight characteristics and design requirements to maintain very low visibility to multiple means of detection. The B-2 bears a resemblance to earlier Northrop aircraft, the YB-35 and YB-49 were both flying wing bombers that had been cancelled in development in the early 1950s, allegedly for political reasons. The resemblance goes as far as B-2 and YB-49 having the same wingspan. The YB-49 also had a small radar cross-section. Approximately 80 pilots fly the B-2. Each aircraft has a crew of two, a pilot in the left seat and mission commander in the right, and has provisions for a third crew member if needed. For comparison, the B-1B has a crew of four and the B-52 has a crew of five. The B-2 is highly automated, and one crew member can sleep in a camp bed, use a toilet, or prepare a hot meal while the other monitors the aircraft, unlike most two-seat aircraft. Extensive sleep cycle and fatigue research was conducted to improve crew performance on long sorties. Advanced training is conducted at the USAF Weapons School.
In the envisaged Cold War scenario, the B-2 was to perform deep penetrating nuclear strike missions, making use of its stealthy capabilities to avoid detection and interception throughout the missions. There are two internal bomb bays in which munitions are stored either on a rotary launcher or two bomb racks, the carriage of the weapons loadouts internally results in less radar visibility than external mounting of munitions. The B-2 is capable of carrying 40,000 pounds of ordnance. Nuclear ordnance includes the B-61 and B-83 nuclear bombs, the AGM-129 ACM cruise missile was also intended for use on the B-2 platform. In light of the dissolution of the Soviet Union, it was decided to equip the B-2 for conventional precision attacks as well as for the strategic role of nuclear strike. The B-2 features a sophisticated GPS-aided targeting system GATS, that uses the aircraft's APQ-181 synthetic aperture radar to map out targets prior to the deployment of GPS-aided bombs GAMs, later superseded by the Joint Direct Attack Munition JDAM. In the B-2's original configuration, up to 16 GAMs or DAMs could be deployed, an upgrade program in 2004 raised the maximum carrier capacity to 80 DAMs. The B-2 has various conventional weapons in its arsenal, including Mark 82 and Mark 84 bombs, CBU-87 combined effects munitions, Gator mines, and the CBU-97 sensor-fused weapon. In July 2009, Northrop Grumman reported the B-2 was compatible with the equipment necessary to deploy the 30,000 pounds 14,000 kilograms massive ordnance penetrator, MOP, which is intended to attack reinforced bunkers. Up to two MOPs could be equipped in the B-2's bomb bays with one per bay, the B-2 is the only platform compatible with the MOP as of 2012. As of 2011, the AGM-158 JASSM cruise missile is an upcoming standoff munition to be deployed on the B-2 and other platforms. This is to be followed by the long-range standoff weapon, which may give the B-2 standoff nuclear capability for the first time. To make the B-2 more effective than previous bombers, many advanced and modern avionics systems were integrated into its design, these have been modified and improved following a switch to conventional warfare missions. One system is the low probability of intercept and slash APQ-181 multimode radar, a fully digital navigation system that is integrated with terrain following radar and global positioning system, GPS, guidance, and AS-26 Astro Inertial Navigation System, first such system tested on the Northrop SM-62 Snark Cruise Missile, 96, and a defensive management system, DMS, to inform the flight crew of possible threats. The onboard DMS is capable of automatically assessing the detection capabilities of identified threats and indicated targets. The DMS will be upgraded by 2021 to detect radar emissions from air defenses to allow changes to the autorouter's mission planning information while in flight so it can receive new data quickly to plan a route that minimizes exposure to dangers. For safety and fault detection purposes, an onboard test system is linked with the majority of avionics on the B-2 to continuously monitor the performance and status of thousands of components and consumables, it also provides post-mission servicing instructions for ground crews. In 2008, many of the 136 standalone distributed computers on board the B-2, including the primary flight management computer, were being replaced by a single integrated system. The avionics are controlled by 13 EMPI resistant MALSTD 1750A computers, which are interconnected through 26 MALSTD 1553B buses, other system elements are connected via optical fiber. In addition to periodic software upgrades and the introduction of new radar absorbent materials across the fleet, the B-2 has had several major upgrades to its avionics and combat systems. For battlefield communications, both Link-16 and a high-frequency satellite link have been installed, compatibility with various new munitions has been undertaken, and the in slash apq 181 radar's operational frequency was shifted to avoid interference with other operators' equipment. The arrays of the upgraded radar features were entirely replaced to make the in slash apq 181 into an active electronically scanned array ESA, radar. Due to the B-2's composite structure, it is required to stay 40 miles 64 kilometers away from thunderstorms to avoid static discharge and lightning strikes. The B-2's low observable or stealth, characteristics enable the undetected penetration of sophisticated anti-aircraft defenses and to attack even heavily defended targets. 
This stealth comes from a combination of reduced acoustic, infrared, visual and radar signatures, multispectral camouflage, to evade the various detection systems that could be used to detect and be used to direct attacks against an aircraft. The B-2 stealth enables the reduction of supporting aircraft that are required to provide air cover, suppression of enemy air defenses and electronic countermeasures, making the bomber a force multiplier. As of September 2013, there have been no instances of a missile being launched at AB-2. To reduce optical visibility during daylight flights, the B-2 is painted in an anti-reflective paint. The undersides are dark because it flies at high altitudes, 50,000 feet, 15,000 meters, and at that altitude a dark gray painting blends well into the sky. It is speculated to have an upward-facing light sensor which alerts the pilot to increase or reduce altitude to match the changing illuminance of the sky. The original design had tanks for a contrail-inhibiting chemical, but this was replaced in production aircraft by a contrail sensor that alerts the crew when they should change altitude. 110, the B-2 is vulnerable to visual interception at ranges of 20 nmi, 23 miles, 37 kilometers, or less. The B-2 is stored in a $5 million specialized air-conditioned hangar to maintain its stealth coating. Every seven years, this coating is carefully washed away with crystallized wheat starch so that the B-2's surfaces can be inspected for any dents or scratches.